For external programmers who are not users on your version dog system, you can still get the normal organizational and workflow benefits of version dog, which are centralization, version history, documentation, comparisons, and so on, by using supplier checkout and smart import for supplier projects. OK, I'm going to give you a quick and very simple demo to show you how this works. Let's say you want to give a project to an external software engineer. So you check it out using Supplier Checkout. Yes, we will have it zipped. Yes, this can be very useful. No, I don't want that yet. OK, I'm going to put it in Documents. Create a folder. CR6022 Vendor 1. I'm just going to copy that. Control C for later. Lock for other users. And Control V. There. I'll use the same thing for the comment. That seems like a good way of keeping things clear. Just an idea, not a rule. But I think it is extra important here to use lock for other users. In that way, we can use version dog to keep other users informed about off-site activity as well. They'll be able to see that you've locked the component and you can use the lock comment to make things even clearer. Let's go to the folder. Here's the change request. OK, send to the vendor. The vendor receives them. Mm -hmm. OK. The project tree structure lets everybody know where they are. The vendor unzips project data dot zip extract yes I'll keep the zip file for now just in case I need to go back to it so after a bit of optimization we get to 10 and 30 just a simple example for this demonstration and save. When the work is finished, the vendor doesn't have to zip the folder before sending it back. They can, but they don't have to. What is important is that if the folder is left as a folder, it needs to be named project data. If it is zipped, the zip archive needs to be named project data.zip. And, of course, only send one back. This was the zip file we received, so... Right, OK. Now, as far as documentation is concerned, this is what will go in the first column of the change history. CR6022 Vendor 1. Yeah, we'll keep going with that, I think. And this is what will go in the second column. Now, if the vendor is not too precise about the comments, which I haven't been here, well, you will be able to change them later. And as always, a comparison will always show you exactly what has changed. Right. Now, the vendor sends the folder back to you and when you receive it, you can simply double click on the delivery note. The user client is launched if it's not already running. The smart import for supplier projects window opens and our project is already added. Now that's a smooth workflow. Alternatively, you could open the smart import window from the ribbon and add projects to import. 
And this can also be a good way of doing things if you have a lot of projects to import. Just put them all in one folder and very nice. Back to our little example. The vendors entries appear here. You can edit them if you want to, as we already mentioned. I'm going to add reduced to minimum. And you can also check what was done before creating the new version. OK. Yep, that looks like a proper job. Right. Check the box. And I'll create a version and check it in. There it is. The component is unlocked. Done. And as usual with version dog, we can see who changed what, where, when, and why.